It's time for another exciting match of Minnesota Quiz Bowl. In this match, we'll see the Chaska Hawks squaring off against the Rosemont Irish. This match promises plenty of action and lots of interesting questions. Don't think you'll want to miss even one second of it, so you watch this and we'll get started in just a moment. <laughs> Got to find more interesting. Another broadcast match of the Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl, a round-robin tournament featuring 40 teams from high schools throughout the greater metropolitan area. The Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl Incorporated receives administrative and operational support from the College of St. Thomas in St. Paul and from the law firm of Robbins, Kaplan, Miller, and Cerisi. Additional support is provided by the participating teams and New College, the undergraduate evening and weekend division of the College of St. Thomas. This program comes to you live from Minneapolis North Community High School and is produced by students in the television production program, part of the arts and communications magnet of the Minneapolis Public Schools, and is simulcast on KBEM-FM 88.5. This broadcast is made possible with the assistance of Burger King, 2220 West Broadway, the Minneapolis Public Schools, the Department of Vocational Technical Education, the Department of Educational Media Services, the Arts and Communications Magnet at North Community High School, KBEM-FM 88.5, and Studio North Television. Transmission and distribution of this program is provided by MTN, the Minneapolis Television Network. And now, here is the moderator of the Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl, George Leiter. Uh, good evening. We're back and ready to start tonight's contest. The first quarter questions will be a series of rapid round questions worth from 5 to 20 points. Let's get started. Teams for 5 points. The Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Laws of 1970. This, these were directed at mobsters and drug traffickers, but as all, they've also been used to catch white-collar criminals. This law is better known by what? Uh, Raul. The, Ro the RICO laws. The RICO laws. 5 points for that. 5 points here. The 1989 World Series was known as the Bart Series for two... Uh, you and Rosemount. Uh, Bart Giamatti and the Barry Area Rapid Transit System. That is correct. For five points, we only need one. Two is good enough. For ten points, which network news anchor beat rivals to the Berlin Wall at the historic moment East Germany opened its... Johnson, Rosemount. Peter Jennings. Uh, that's incorrect. I'll finish for Chaska. At the historic moment East Germany opened its borders. Carlson, Chaska. I'm sorry. Well, it was Tom Brokaw of NBC, so we'll go on with this 15-pointer. Under the NCAA's so-called death penalty, schools found with major violations twice in five years... You and Rosemount. SMU. No, I'll finish the question for Chaska. Can have their athletic programs shut down for how long? Uh, worky, Chaska. Two uh, years. Two years is right for 15 points. How about this 20-pointer? The government of what South American country declared a three-month state of martial law in November 1989, saying it was acting to guarantee peaceful local elections in December? Raul, Rosemont. Panama. No, that's incorrect. Check this. Uh, Worky, Chaska. El Salvador. No, it was Bolivia there on that 20-pointer. How about this 5-pointer? What cola giant has struck a deal to feature its logo in a new Nintendo video? You and Rosemount. Pepsi. Pepsi is correct for five points. For ten points, prior to Bush's summit with Gorbachev, the last time a shipboard meeting between a U.S. president and a foreign head of state took place. Oops, we won't have time to. No oops, no, I'm sorry, we'll continue. Head of the state took place in 1941. Who met whom? You and Rosemount. Churchill met Roosevelt. Yes, that's right, and that's 10 points. How about this 10-pointer, teams? About 41% of the waste that goes into American dumps and landfills each year is some form up. Oh, we won't have time to finish that question about paper, but we will take just a second to check the score before we meet both teams in tonight's contest. We find that at the end, oops, did it flash by me there? The score at the end of the first quarter, is our computer going to show us? 15 to 25, so we've got a close one so far. And now let's take just a second to meet the teams. First we have from Chaska. Team? 
I'm Corey Werke. I'm a sophomore at Chaska High School, and I'm interested in politics. I'm Sarah Tice. I'm a junior at Chaska High School. I'm interested in biology and the French language. I'm Joe Pard. I'm a sophomore at Chaska High School, and I would like to be an artist. I'm Jonathan Carlson. I'm a freshman at Chaska High School, and I like to ski. And there are the Chaska Hawks. Now let's meet the Rosemont Irish. Hi, I'm Philip Johnson. I'm a sophomore at Rosemont, and I'm also in math team. Hi, I'm Sid Rowe. I'm a senior at Rosemont High School, and I'd now like to take this time to apologize to the Rosemont High School math team. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brett McAlpine, and I'm also a senior at Rosemont High School, and I play tennis and the French horn. Hi, I'm Edwin Yu, and I'm a junior at Rosemont High School. I'd like to say hi to my friends, Brian, Kerry, and just hi to everyone, go debate team. And there are the teams. Now let's meet their able coaches. They're being coached this evening by Mary Kittner, and uh, that's Mary Kittner from Rosemont, and Becky Braltz from Chaska. There they are. And also assisting me this evening is Tim Vareka from the University of Minnesota's outstanding college bowl team. He'll help me on the close calls and his judgments will be final. Now let's go ahead and start with the second quarter where 10 point toss ups will earn teams bonuses worth from 15 to 30 points. Let's start with this 10 pointer. The Japanese have now overtaken the Dutch as the second largest foreign holders of U.S. property. What nation holds the most U.S. property? Kapar, Chaska. Canada? No, that's incorrect. Rosemount, would you like a chance? Anyone? You and Rosemount. Germany. No, it's Great Britain. How about this 10-pointer, teams? Some of the homes and jobs left vacant by fleeing East Germans are being taken over by citizens of what less prosperous Warsaw-packed country? Johnson, Rosemount. Poland. Poland is correct for 10 points, and here's your bonus. For five points each, name any four of the top seven oil-consuming nations. The United States, Japan. Britain, no, Get in your France. answer now. United States, Japan, Great Britain, Great Britain, France, and France. Yes, we can take all four of those. Great Britain. Yeah, we can. Yes, it. that's all four for 20 points. And we go on now uh, for the 10-point toss-up for both teams. For 10 points, who, according to some legends, released Prometheus from his imprisonment? Raul, Ro Rosemount. Hercules. Hercules is correct for 10 points. Mm -hmm. And here's your bonus, Rosemount, for 10 points apiece. Identify the three unities of dramatic structure as derived from Aristotelian aesthetics. Get no. your answer time. now. Time, place, and setting. It's oh. time, place, and action, but you did get two Neither. for 20 points on that bonus question. It's okay. Teams, how about this 10 point toss up? Mm. Which of the geologic eras is known as the Age of Reptiles? Anyone? Tice, Chaska. Paleozoic? No, that's you and Rosemount. Mesozoic. Mesozoic is correct for 10 points. And here is your uh, bonus question, wow. Rosemount. For five points each, these answers all start with sun, S-U-N. First, for five points, a uh, source of common vegetable oil. Sun, sunflower. 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 That is correct for five points. Magnetic disturbance in the photosphere. Sunflower. Sunspots. That is correct for five. And finally, for ten points, give me a word meaning items too small or numerous to be specified, i.e., things your grandmother could have picked up at the local five and dime. Sun specs. <laughs> Answer, please. Small Sun sec. items. Sundries. So, no, ten points on that <laughs> bonus. And uh, we go on to this toss up question. What famous words spoken by the announcer signaled the start of the Indianapolis 500? You and Rosemount. Gentlemen, start your engines. That is correct for 10 points, and that leads you to this bonus question. For five points each, what two names did, or two teams did Babe Ruth play for? Yankees and the Red Sox. The Yankees and the Red Sox. That is correct, and here's right. another five-pointer. Which Yankee topped Babe Ruth's record for home runs in a single season? What? Paris? Maris. Maris. That is correct. You got 15 points on that bonus question. Right. How about this 10 pointer? Identify the toss up. Identify the possessive pronoun in this sentence. Alice and Ken sailed the boat to its dock. We did not expect them to arrive. You and Rosemont. It's. That is correct for 10 points. And let's go to this bonus question for Rosemont. I'll name the character, and for 10 points apiece, you name the play from Shakespeare. Oh, no. First, Beatrice. Tame me the shrew. No. Answer, please. Twelfth Night. No, that's Much Ado About Nothing. How about Capulet? That's uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet. That is correct. And finally, Gertrude. 
Take me on the shroom. No. Answer, Othello. please. No, that's Hamlet. But you did get one right Prince there for Denmark. 10 points. And let's go on to this 10 point toss up. What bone articulates with the hip girdle at the acetabulum and with the tibia at the knee? Raoul, Rosemont. The femur. That is correct. And there's your, for that 10 point right, so uh, toss up, gets you this bonus about antonyms. For five points apiece, does mollify mean the opposite of grind, allay, quit, or provoke? Provoke. Provoke. That is correct. And another five pointer. Does hamper mean the opposite of support? Animate, support. caution, or feed? Support, support, support. Support. Hamper, to stop. Yeah, hamper your efforts. Answer, please. Support. support. That is correct. Okay. Does gauche mean the opposite of grotesque, tactful, inane, or fashionable? Grotesque. Fashionable. No tactful there. Mm. Mm. And does diatribe mean the opposite of clan, outburst, vacancy, or praise? Praise. Praise sounds good. Praise. Praise. You get 15 points on that bonus question. We go on to this toss up. And the question we have is, for 10 points, which word is defined as the, a partial or total loss of memory, especially... Raul, Rosemont. Amnesia. Amnesia is right for 10 right. points. Yeah. And here's your bonus question. It's about places. Name the city for five points that has the only state capital on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. Virginia, I don't know. Answer, please. Annapolis, Maryland. That is correct. For five points, what country is bounded by Yugoslavia, Italy, Liechtenstein, West Germany, and Czechoslovakia? Austria. 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 Austria is correct. For five and for ten points, name the only country which both lies on the eastern side of the Indian Ocean and has an equator has the equator passing through it. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Bangladesh. Answer, please. Sri Lanka. Sri, Sri Lanka. That's Indonesia there, but you did get two right for 10 points on that bonus question. And here's your toss up. For 10 points, Karachi is the most populous city in. Uh, Ewan, Rosemont. Pakistan. Pakistan is correct. And we go to your <laughs> bonus question here about music theory for 10 points apiece. <laughs> what is a chord with three tones built in triads? I'm sorry, I have to throw that one out and ask you this one. For 15 points, what two-word phrase tells the number of sharps and flats in a musical scale? Key signature. Key signature, and that's right for 15 <laughs> points on that bonus. Let's go on to this for 10 points. Reflecting its acquisition of the land west of the Jordan River, Transjordan changed its name to what in 1949? Ewan, Ro Carlson, Chaska. Lebanon. Oh, it's just Jordan. How about this 10-pointer? Which of Columbus's ships was the first to sight the New World? Tice, Chaska. Santa Maria? No, that's incorrect, Rosemont. You and Rosemont. Pinto. It is the Pinto for 10 points, and here's your bonus. For five points apiece, answer these questions. All the answers to these questions relate to mammals. First, according to Shakespeare's title, what did Petruchio tame? A shrew. <laughs> there it is, okay. For another five points, what Ionesco play did Zero Mastel star in? Cats. No. Uh, dogs. Answer, no, cats, please. Cats. cats. No, that's rhin rhinoceros. And we finished the bonus at the end of the half. Into what, count, into what was Count Dracula able to turn himself? A bat. A bat is correct for five. And what is the name of the Miami football dolphins, team. Dolphins. The Dolphins. That is correct. You got three right there for 15 points on a bonus. That brings us to the end of the half. So while we tabulate the score and take a brief break, I'd like you to watch this. The Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl Incorporated receives administrative and operational support from the College of St. Thomas in St. Paul and from the law firm of Robbins, Kaplan, Miller, and Cerisi. Additional support is provided by the participating teams and New College, the undergraduate evening and weekend division of the College of St. Thomas. This broadcast is made possible with the assistance of Burger King, 2220 West Broadway, the Minneapolis Public Schools, the Department of Vocational Technical Education, the Department of Educational Media Services, the Arts and Communications Magnet at North Community High School, KBEM FM 88.5 and Studio North Television. Transmission and distribution of this program is provided by MTN, the Minneapolis Television Network. 
whoop, we're back and we're ready for the third quarter. And we find that after two quarters of play, we have a score of, what does our scorekeeper say? It's, we're waiting. <laughs> Rosemont 245 and Chaska 15. So let's go on to our third quarter of play where once again, 10 point toss ups will earn bonus questions for each team. And let's begin with this 10 point toss up. Which book was written last? Don Quixote by Cervantes, Paradise Lost by Milton, Faust by Goethe, or Gulliver's Travels by Ewan Rosemont. Paradise Lost. Uh, no, I'll finish the question for Chaska, or Gulliver's Travels by Swift. Uh, worky, Chaska. Don Quixote. No, it was, it was Faust there by Goethe. So let's go on with this 10 point toss up. What Thurber character is an average man with uh, McAlpine, Rosemount. Walter Mitty. Walter Mitty, excellent for 10 Mitty. points, and here is your bonus question. For five points each, all these answers include the word horse. First, what does Richard III say on Bosworth Field in a Shakespeare play? My kingdom for a horse. Yes, sir. My kingdom for a horse. Judge will. No, we can't. No, we need a horse, that. a horse, my kingdom for a horse. How about this five point? Burn. Identify the ruse by which the Greeks put an end to the siege of Troy. The, the, the Trojan, Trojan horse. horse. That is correct. Horse. According to Abraham Lincoln, what is the old Dutch, what the old Dutch farmer said to his companion? Whip me a horse. <laughs> Get me a horse. I'd, I'd rather have a horse. No, it's not horse. best to swap horses in midstream. And finally, for five points, war, pestilence, famine, and death in the revelation of St. John. The Four Horsemen of mm, the Apocalypse. Me, yes, that is correct. So you did get uh, <laughs> ten, 10 on that bonus uh, question. And let's go on to this toss-up, also a uh, 10-pointer. And we have, for 10 points, you may need your pencils, I'm not sure. What is the quotient when one-tenth is divided by eight? Uh, Raoul, Rosemount. Time. One-tenth. Jessica, can you take Anyone? Time. It's one eightieth. Let's go into this ten pointer. What is the name of the game of Spanish origin played with a hard ball about the McAlpine Rosemount? Bolo? No, I'll finish for Chaska. About the size of a baseball and a basket like container. Carlson, Chaska. I lie. I lie is correct. That's correct. And that earns you a bonus question, Chaska. Subject C in geography. Uh, all these answers will have a begin with a C for ten points apiece. What is 2,000, or sorry, 24,818 miles. Answer, please. Uh, the border between Canada and the United States. No, that's the Earth's circumference. Uh, Mount Elbrus in the Soviet Union is one of, is the tallest mountain of what range? Answer, please. No answer. It's the Caucasus. And finally, for 10 points, in which city, did, which, which city did Carl Sandburg call Hog Butcher of the World? Chicago. That is right. So 10 points on that bonus for Chaska. And let's go to this 10-point toss-up question. For 10 points, what type of weather front usually has a very gradual slope so the clouds extend far ahead of the base of the front? Tice, uh, Chaska. Stationary front? No, Rosemont. Can you take it? Raw, Rosemont. A high front? No, it's just a warm front is all we needed there. How about this 10-pointer? A peeping Tom or voyeur is a person who gains satisfaction from spying on people in varying stages of undress. Legend tells us that the very first peeping Tom earned his nickname when he peeped at a famous lady. Who was she? You and Rosemount. Eve. No, <laughs> Chaska, can you take it? Anyone? Time. It's Lady Godiva. How about this 10-pointer? What is the value of the sum of the sine of 90 degrees and the tangent of 45 degrees? Raul, Rosemont. Two. Two is correct for 10 points, and here's your bonus question. Give me the word which is the best antonym of these words. Each begins with the letters EX. First for five points, thrift. Expe extravagance, extravagance. Extravagance. Extravagance? Extravagance is right for five points. Another five pointer. Extinct. Exist. Existing. Now we'll take that or extant. And finally for five points, denigrate. Exalt. Ex exalt. I think we can take that one too. I think we'll give you all three there for 15 points. And we'll go on now to this 10 point uh, toss up. It's for 10 points, trees and shrubs 
and Eastern Butterflies are among some 35 field guides written by what naturalist? McAlpine, Rosemount. Audubon? No, that's incorrect. Chaska, would you like a chance? Anyone? Time. The answer there is Roger Tory Peterson. How about this 10 pointer? Name the actors who played the central characters in these films in order. First, The Graduate, Lawrence of Arabia, and The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Answer, please. Anyone? You and Rosemount. Hoffman, O'Toole, and Eastwood. That is correct for 10 points. Let's give you this bonus question for 10 points apiece. Give me the English word which starts with the Greek prefix E-P-I, epi. For five points, the each part. Uh, Carlson, Chaska. Two foot, six inches long. No, that's incorrect. Rosemont, can you take it? McAlpine, Rosemont. Two feet, seven inches long. That is correct for 10 points, and that gets you this bonus question. The basic fractional monetary unit in the U.S. dollar is the cent. For 10 points apiece, what is the name of the basic fractional unit of, first, the British pound? Pent. 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 Shilling. Shilling or pent. Shilling. Shilling. Shilling? No, the basic one is the penny or pence. How about the French franc? Centime. Centime is correct. We'll give you that. That's 10 points on that bonus. And that takes us to the end of the third quarter. Before we go into our fourth quarter of rapid round questions, let's just take a second to check the score. It's Chaska 35, Rosemont 325. 335. 335, I learned. Let's go on now to a fourth quarter where toss-up questions are again worth from 5 to 20 points. First for 20 points, what is the name of the square-necked steel bolt with a rounded head? Anyone? Uh, Tice, Chaska. A spike? No, Rosemont, can you take it? You and Rosemont. Ratnut. No, it's a carriage bolt. For 15 points, a, med a medical patient can generally be anesthetized by one of two methods. One method induces unconsciousness, the other method desensitizes a particular you and Rosemount. General and local anesthesia. Yes, that is correct for 15 points. For 15 points, heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter is a line from which of John Keats' poems? Anyone? You and Rosemount. Have a nice day. <laughs> no. Chaska, would you like to take a chance? Anyone? Time. It's Ode on a Grecian Urn. For 20 points, describe the kind of movement a ballet dancer makes in performing a glissade. Anyone? You and Rosemont. She leaps through the air and does a pirouette. No. Chaska, would you like to try it? Anyone? Time. It's a sliding step. How about this 15-pointer? What is the name of the large cemetery in Glendale, California, where dozens of Hollywood celebrities are buried? Anyone? Uh, you and Rosemount. Hollywood Cemetery. No, Chaska, would you like a chance? Anyone? Time. It's Forest Lawn Memorial Park. How about this 20-pointer? Where must Burnham Wood go for Macbeth to be slain? You and Rosemount. His manor. No. Oh, now what we're looking for, Chaska, can you take it? Anyone? Time. A tough one. Dunsinane is the answer there. How about this five-pointer? What is the term used to describe a single cell, the, to describe single cell plants that cause disease? Uh, Rao, Rosemont. Fungi. No, Chaska, can you take it? Anyone? Time. It's bacteria. How about this five-pointer? In most painting mediums, lighter tones are obtained by adding white pigment. In what medium do you lighten a tone by thinning the pigment with water? McAlpine, Rosemont. Watercolors? That's right for five points. How about this 10 pointer? What is the opposite of a hyperbole? Uh, Rao, Rosemont. An analogy? No, Chaska, can you take it? Anyone? Time. It's an understatement, or latotes if you're a real scholar. How about this five pointer? This nine letter plural is the longest one syllable word in English. Spell the opposite of weaknesses. Raw Rosemount. Strength, S-T-R-E-N-G-T-H-S. Yes, that is correct. And for 10 points, that's five points there. For 10 points, from what nation did Iceland liberate itself in 1944? You and Rosemount. No, way. no that's incorrect. Chaska, can you take it? Tice, Chaska. 
Denmark? Yes, that's right, for 10 points. For five points, chickens raised only, chickens raised only for their meat are called, oops, we won't have time for that question about fryers. Well, we have to take just a second to tally up our final score in tonight's contest. We'll be back with that score and to wrap up the program in just one moment. Questions on the Minnesota Quiz Bowl are purchased from Questions Unlimited of Columbus, Ohio. Access to these questions by participating teams and their coaches is prohibited, nor do the teams have any idea as to the type or general nature of the questions. The producers put a great deal of faith in the knowledge of today's young people here on the Minnesota Quiz Bowl. And here we are at the end of tonight's contest. We find that after four quarters of play, Rosemont has scored 370 to Chaska's 45. But Chaska's a young team and they'll be around for a few years. Rosemont is most likely headed to the playoffs, which begin in six short weeks, and will send one of the Minnesota Quiz Bowl teams to a national competition where they might vie for the national title. We'll hope you'll follow all the action, our regular season, and then our exciting playoffs right here on Minnesota Quiz Bowl. Until our next match where Richfield meets Roseville, this is George Leiter saying goodnight for Minnesota Quiz Bowl. This has been the Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl. The Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl Incorporated receives administrative and operational support from the College of St. Thomas in St. Paul and from the law firm of Robbins, Kaplan, Miller and Cerisi. Additional support is provided by the participating teams and by New College, the undergraduate evening and weekend division of the College of St. Thomas. This program was made possible with the assistance of Burger King 2220 West Broadway the Minneapolis Public Schools, the Department of Vocational Technical Education, the Department of Educational Media Services, the Arts and Communications Magnet at North Community High School, KBEM-FM 88.5, and Studio North Television. Transmission and distribution of this program is provided by MTN, the Minneapolis Television Network. This program came to you live from Minneapolis North Community High School and was produced by students in the television production program, part of the arts and communications magnet of the Minneapolis Public Schools, and was simulcast on KBEM-FM 88.5. The coordinator of the Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl is Vicki Griggs. The executive producer is David Nielsen. The production coordinator is Paul Kelly. The producer is Wendy Baker. Join us next time for another broadcast match of the Minnesota High School Quiz Bowl.